Hi, for this video what we are going to do is we are going to use um, the TI Inspire to help us find a binomial probability. Um, for this problem we have 62% of likely U.S. voters feel it is important to reduce the cost of health care. Nine U.S. voters are randomly selected. Find the probability that the number who respond that they feel it is important to reduce the cost of health care are the following. So I have several set up. Um, where we are going to find the probability of this event happening. We know that this is a binomial probability um, because of the fact that people will either feel it is important or they won't. So a success would be that it feels that it is important. The probability of success remains constant throughout, so it stays at 62%. And we have a finite number of trials that we are doing. We are doing this exactly nine times. In this video, the focus is not on um, the sorry. The focus is not on using the formula for binomial probability. I will do another um, video that uses the formula. For this one, it's using the built-in functionality of the TI Inspire graphing calculator. So this is the quickest way to find these probabilities. In order to use this feature on your calculator, there are two things that you must know. The first is n, so in this case n is the number of people that were polled, so n would be 9. And we need to know the probability of success, which is p. So we would use the 62% and we always put it in as a decimal, so this would be 0.62. Because we are looking for the probability of exactly 6, we are looking for the probability that x equals 6 we are going to use binome PDF. And with this, what we need to know is the number of times, which is 9, the probability of success, 0.62, and how many times we were doing this, which is 6. Okay, so for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our calculator, and in our calculator, we want to open a calculator screen. So I'm just going to click on the calculator screen. And I'm going to go to the menu, and we're going to go down to probability. Under probability, option 5 is distributions. And we would go down until we found the binomial distribution. So for this, um, you can go up or down. Uh, for this, D is a binomial PDF. I know it's kind of hard to see on my screen, but D is binomial PDF. And, uh, sorry, E is the binomial CDF. So we want to make sure that we choose binomial PDF because it's just a probability dis, um, density function. So for this, notice it asks us how many trials. What was our n? So in this case, we have nine trials. We were nine people that we were asking. The probability of success is 0.62. If you wanted the entire probability density function or how it distributes throughout all of your x values, you don't have to put a value in here. Because we are specifically looking for 6, uh, we would plug in 6. And we would click OK. And if you notice, our probability is 0.2618. Um, so we would say approximately 0.2618. So with this, it's always important to be able to answer the question using a complete sentence. So for this one only, I am going to write this as you would um, write it as a sentence to explain what your findings were. So we would say there is a 26.8 probability that exactly six of the nine people feel the cost of health care needs to be reduced. So with this, we would say there's a 26.8% probability that exactly six of the nine people feel the cost of health care needs to be reduced. 
For the rest of these, we are going to be using binomial CDF, and this calculator is very different than what you would do in the TI-84. Most calculators, um, when you find a cumulative distribution, they require you to, um, or they always start at zero, they're programmed to start at zero and add until you tell them to stop. In this one, you can actually say what your upper and your lower limit is. So you're able to tell it a range of values that you want. So for this one, what it's asking for is we want the probability of at most five. So when we're thinking about this, we wanna think of what at most five means. And that means that the highest number that we want is to be five. So we want it to be less than or equal to five. So what we really are looking for is the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus all the way up through the probability of five. So you can do this by hand. It's very long. You can find each of the individual probabilities and add them together or you can use um, like what we did on the last one, we can use the built-in feature. So again, we go to menu and probability, distributions, and then we go down. This time we want to go to binomial CDF. So we want option E. So binomial CDF. The number of trials still is the same. We're still asking nine people. The probability of success is still the same. But this time it asks for a lower bound. So that's the lowest that we want. So since we want at most five, we are looking from zero and our upper bound is five. And then we would just hit enter. And we end up with a probability of 0.4669. Okay, so we end up with the probability that at most five people of the nine will answer that they feel the cost of healthcare needs to reduce is 0.4669 or 46.69%, depending upon how you are to report your question. For the next one, I'm just trying to go through all of the scenarios that normally happen in these questions. Usually we have exactly, um, then we have ones that are less than or equal to. For this one, we have, we're looking for the probability that more than four. So for this one, it's all values that are greater than four. So this one does not include four. So what we would do for our lower limit this time would be we would start at five because five is the first number that is greater than four out of nine values. So then we would continue to add up until we got to the probability of nine. So again, you can do this individually or you can use the shortcut in your calculator. The nice thing is with the calculator is instead of going through the menu and statistics and going to probability, since we just use binome CDF, we can do the same thing but we would only have to change our zero and our five. In this case, we wanna start with five and we want to end with nine. So I can change my lower limit to five and my upper limit to nine because that's where I'm stopping. And then I would just hit enter. So the probability that more than four people responded that they feel that healthcare should be reduced is 0.7738 or 77.38%. Okay, a couple more just to make sure that you understand. Um, these are the last two that we'll do. The probability that there's less than seven, in this case, it does not include seven. So we would stop at six. So it'd be the probability of zero plus the probability of one, all the way up through the probability of six. So this is technically what we are finding. We would stop at six because six is the last value that is below seven. So again, with this, we would use um, binome CDF. So we always use CDF for um, more than one value because this stands for cumulative density function or cumulative distribution function. Um, I've heard it both ways in different texts, but that just means the sum of all of the values. 
So on this one, again, what we are going to do is we're going to put the number that we have. I didn't write this down before, so it's in comma P, our 0.62. And for this one, we have a lower limit and our upper limit. So where do we want to add the values between? So these are the commands, because I know that it was kind of hard to see in the calculator so that you could see what I am entering. So for this one, we would do 9.620 and 6. And then we would plug this into our calculator. Again, I can go to Menu and Statistics and Distributions and plug all of this in, or I can just go up and grab this and change the values of my lower and upper limit. So in this one, we want to change our lower limit to 0. And then we want to change our upper limit to 6. And the probability So the probability that this is less than 7 is 0.7287 or 72.87%. For the last one, when we have at least, at least means greater than or equal to, so we would need to do x is greater than or equal to 4. So for this, we would start at 4 because 4 is included in this one. So we would go probability of 4 plus the probability of 5 all the way up through the probability of 9. So again, what we would do is we would just change the lower and the upper limits. So we can just grab it and change our 0 to 4 and change our 9 or our 6 sorry to 9 and we find that the probability of this happening is approximately 0.9213 or 92.13%. So if I were to put this in context, it would say the probability that at least four of the nine people will respond that they feel that the health care um, should be reduced, the cost of health care should be reduced is 92.13%. As always, thanks for watching.